Hi, in this demo, I want to show you how to use V-Scope key to make it look like this woman is at the beach. Now, we have a picture of a woman against a blue background, and we also have some video of the beach out here. And we want to combine these two together with V-Scope key. So the first thing we want to do is take our V-Scope key filter called Soft Light and drag this right onto the clip. And we want to bring it up into the viewer, select the filter option, and right here is an option called background color. Now we want to select the blue background with background color. And once we select it, you can see that the two images are combined. Now it's pretty good, but we can still make some adjustments to make it look even a little bit better. So we can zoom in a little bit and we can look at the hair detail and see if we can add or subtract some hair detail or change the image a little bit here and there. Uh, let's take a look at the mask. Now we use this uh, option right here called show mask and we just select it and things go black and white. Now what it's showing us is the actual alpha channel of the image or the transparent and the not transparent part of the image. The transparent part of the image is in black and the opaque part of the image is in white. So what we can do is just simply adjust our subtract gain and we can pick up a little bit more hair detail. That's uh, this option right here, subtract gain. You can see what's happening when I make these adjustments. So I can put it right about there, I think will be good. And we can remove the mask and take a look at the image. Now we wanna see if the bottle looks pretty good because glass is really, really hard to do in, uh, in keying in general. As you can see, there's some blue edge in the bottle. So I'm gonna to have to use my dispiller, which is built straight into V-Scope key. And on this uh, soft light filter, it's just right here on this option right here. And I just enable it with one click. And uh, I need, of course, it makes some adjustments so that it looks natural. And once we do that, we get something we really like. And there you go. You can see most of the blue is now removed from the glass. So we zoom out a little bit. Now, this looks pretty good, but she still doesn't look like she's standing there. So I wanna blend her into the background a little bit. So I take Visco key and I select the edges filter and I just drag that and drop that right onto the, uh, onto the clip. Now edges, what it allows me to do is further fine tune the blending. And as you can see, if I take, if I zoom in on the image and I take a look at the hair right here, I can turn edges on and off and you can see the hair is now sort of blended smoothly into the background. You can look at the shoulder. You can see how the shoulder now blends in. So what we want to do is uh, make some adjustments here. So the inner and the edge blur looks just about right. We can also bring up some gain. There's all kinds of controls. We can clamp it down if we want to make a smoother little uh, sharper edge to it. But we can just spend hours and hours uh, on this and uh, I think we'll just be happy with the way it looks like that because now she looks a little bit more blended when we zoom in. So the only problem that I see left here is that she doesn't look like she's really in the same scene because they're two different colors. So we just go ahead and drag our three-way color corrector on top of that, bring up the three-way color corrector, and we can kind of brighten the image together to so sort of do a tone match and make it look like she's uh, standing in the sun. Um, you know, put more daylight colors in there, whatever we want to do. But that's pretty much it. Uh, that's how you create this shot in V-Scope Key.